I'm going to talk about church. A lot of people, they are not aware of the church. The church, some people they say that the church is in a building. Some they say that we are the church. Now, we want to know what really the church is. According to Hebrews 10 verse 25, the Bible says, uh, do not stop the gathering of some the gathering of together like uh, the way some people are doing so we are going to know what the church is in act 12 verse 5 the bible says uh, peter was in prison the church prayed for peter and peter was released so the play the prayers that released peter was the prayer of the church it attracted the angel so prayers of the church attracts angel so we have to know what is the church is the church the building is the church my my body or what is the church in a um, I, I, I'm sure this this scripture that I'm about to quote, it will, it will define what the church is or it will open the capacity of understanding so that you may know what the church is. Uh, Act 9, uh, beginning from 1 to 11, you are going to understand it was the, the story of somebody who was persecuting the church or Aken Koima, the, the, the enemy of the church at that time. He got the letters from the priest and he was told to go and kill the churches in Damascus. As he was going with his men to Damascus, as he approached Damascus, the Bible says that uh, the light from heaven uh, fell on him and he became blind uh, and the voice began to say, so, so, why are you persecuting me? Uh, the question is, was so persecuting uh, the person, then so said, who are you, Lord? How did uh, so knew that it was the Lord? Then that Lord said, I'm Jesus whom you are persecuting. How did so perceive that it was the Lord? Uh, so perceived because of that light uh, came with the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, so on that day was anointed uh, with the power of God. Hence he, be, he began to perceive the voice of God. Nobody told him that uh, the voice of Jesus sound like this. Then he said, I'm Jesus. You are persecuting. Now the question is, was so going to persecute the church or Jesus? So on that, on this scripture, we are seeing that uh, uh, Jesus represents the church. Jesus is the church himself, not the building where we go. The building is just the area where believers gather to, to make uh, the church who is Jesus to manifest. And uh, then in, uh, in John 2, beginning from 15, you are going to understand it was the time when... Uh, uh, Jesus entered the church in Capernaum. He began to wipe the people there. He wiped the people there. He wiped the people. Then he said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. So the house shall be called the house of prayer. His house shall be called the house of prayer. So uh, his house is himself. Why am I saying so? Luke 11, the Bible says the disciples went to Jesus and said, teach us how to pray, just as John taught his disciples. Why did the disciples went to Jesus? Because they perceived that Jesus was the church. Jesus was the prayer. Then Jesus, he taught them how to pray. Then he, in the same, uh, John 2 verse 16, you are going to understand that when Jesus wiped every person on 17, uh, he said what he said. I uh, When you go down... Uh, and reach 22, you are going to understand that Jesus uh, said, I'm going to destroy this temple and build it in three days. People could not understand, even the disciples. The Bible says at his resurrection, that's when the disciples realized that Jesus was talking about himself. Now, I've got the question again. We have said that um, the reason why Jesus said, why are you persecuting me? It is because it's the end of the, of the church. 1 Corinthians, 8, uh, 1, uh, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 18 to 20. On 18, the Bible says, learn away from sexual immorality. Learn away from sexual immorality. 19, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Why am I saying on other scripture that Jesus is the temple? On this one, I'm saying that uh, your body, the body of ours is the temple. Because when you are fellowshipping with Jesus, we are becoming one with Jesus. We are representing Jesus. We are the ambassadors. And what makes us to be the temple of Jesus? It is because of 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20. The Bible says that he bought us at high price. We are not our own. So thinking that he... The building is the church. No, the building is not the church. It's just the area where Jesus as the church manifests. God bless you.